Today I'm going to show how do you uh, calibrate MMDVM hotspot. I have here these two hotspots and these two radios and I'm going to show how to calibrate them with the meter and without the meter. Uh, so you actually don't need a communicator tester but I do have one and I'm gonna to hook up on it to show you the transmit power and other things what you can do with this. So let's get started. I'm going to connect this uh, connectors and uh, after that we continue. First of all I wanna show how much leakage the hotspot has. I'm going to go like one gigahertz. Let's go a bit less. Let's wait the transmission. Okay, here you see <coughs> this one is the right frequency. It's around here. So all of this is <laughs> it's not supposed to be there so no wonder hotspot is not working as it's supposed it is huge it is huge look this so yes Look this. Let's send there a 144. And span. Let's put more. This is kind of bad. Because you see now there is no filter. There is the connector is connected there directly. So there is no filter. Even even this for three four megahertz. This one. It's even more than the right frequency. I don't understand what is going on. The frequency of hotspot is 144. This is the right frequency of the hotspot. 149625. And uh, this power is uh, lower it. It's not even on full power. I don't want to know if I put full power, what's gonna happen here. I have already done three minutes on this video and I haven't even started to calibrate this. Well, anyways, to calibrate this, you need to go, you need to go browser and MMDVM call and you will download this clone clone and you will put this on the on here you just git clone and that address so like that and you will uh, compile that by make I have already known that so compile like this make j4 and you will get compiled and you will get the binary so you have pystar mmdvm call Let's 
kill the servers. We need to stop the MMDVM host. That's first thing you need to do. Bye bye. So, buy star MMDVM. Call. You need to be wrote. Something like this. And here is your MMDVM call from Pystar. You are missing all the essential tools here. So you're gonna quit that and uh, turn that to trash. We need to stop again. And now we're gonna start on this directory, the compile it one. So we just do the same, but like this. And now, you will see bear test mode, like that, B-E-R test mode. You will need that to get this working. So version is a lot newer, one month. So basically you will start pressing E, like echo, and you will set frequency, mine is 144. Zero, zero. And now we have the frequency and uh, also we want to hear something so we go to radio one four four like that we have now the radio on that frequency as well so First, we going to carrier only mode, C, and then spacebar. And we have here the signal, and we have here the signal as well. So, now the signal is there in full power, and you can increase and decrease power here by P, letter P, Papa. And this is a bug, you will hear that sound when you <laughs> So, we decrease and increase, and you see here, decrease and increase, like that. Okay, this is the transmit power, that's okay. So, spacebar is always activate. What do you want to do next? You will have the radio. Radio on the same frequency. And uh, now you will use this BR test mode for. No, sorry. DMR simplex test pattern. Press M um, mic. And you will hear. Spacebar. And you will listen to radio. Also to other radio should listen that. You see? So we'll have now I don't know why that coming. I want that off. This is a bug. It's a uh, no bug. Let's go out of this mode and let's go back to the mic. So we are calibrating now the transmission of the, the radio. 
so let's try again. I don't want that coming, but anyways. Increase and decrease deviation, T. So, increase and decrease deviation. You hear, the deviation is gone. See? Okay, let's now go to span. And we should see... Increase deviation. Increase deviation, T. Let's stop this and now we are going to DMR deviation mode. We are going to this to analog and now this is the where you need to have the notch. We'll set up this and it's something like 50% and that's some well, correct? So we have now set up the transmit we now set up the receive side and uh, for receiving side you want to set up this bear test mode uh, bear test mode for DMR simplex B the big B like Bravo and then you take your radio and Press the PTT, like that. And, uh, you start tuning. You start tuning. Uh, increase and decrease frequency. F Foxtrot. So you basically press the PTT and uh, F. And you see the bear. See, increase it. My well, hotspot is okay. 0, 0.0 is okay. This is the right frequency. Anyways. So this bear is okay. It's you can get it better, but I'm not going to fine tune this now. Just to give your uh, idea how to do this. So, here is how do you set up the frequency right, and you put the offset in hertz. What did you done here? And uh, deviation mode. You will use that. You don't need the meter, you just use that until your radio gets the signal. That's it. And you get the midway of that. It's not hard. But the meter is always better, or as the R receiver or something. So, yeah. This is how do you do it with this, this new software. And... Uh, this is very very good so if I go full power increase of RF power and carrier mode and transmitter on 
you will see here the transmitter and I go to span let's see how much leakage it has now without the signal <laughs> overload okay but anyways you get the idea it is huge it is huge it is huge so let's try to calibrate this matter to zero okay I set the frequency to 70 centimeters 434 and the power levels are totally different it's 13 dBm so we see here uh, power and we go analyze power we have here the TX power of the hotspot if I turn off the transmitter it's zero so uh, with um, 70 centimeters you will get 30 dBm of power uh, of course the cable loose we need to account and the connector and uh, on the 2 meter band VHF we have only 5 dBm of power so so 5 dBm of power, that's very very low, that's very very low, but anyways this is full 20 milliwatts, 20 milliwatts from an MDBM hotspot, not 10 milliwatts, what people keep saying, 10 milliwatts hotspot, it's not 10 milliwatts, it's 20, you see here, let's see it, uh, how much this leakage has. Let's go to the span and let's span this even more. It's it has a lot less uh, leakage. Uh, harmonics, it's only one. And uh, VHF, it is a lot worse than UHF. So here is the conclusion. There you are. I hope this will help someone turning up the, the hotspot. We can try. We can try. Let's let me set up the. Okay, let's see. We need to. TG9 here. We need to have that one. You see the error? So we can always set up the frequency and it is a lot better when I put a little more down. Let's try that way. This is on UHF, a lot better beer.
Yeah, I, I have the battery running out. This and try to get the radio very far away. I'm gonna put low power, milliwatt power. This is milliwatt power, so. It's the low power of the radio, that's because a lot of error. Now it's like uh, very, very f uh, close now. And I put more power. It's zero. Let go millibot power. I have here very close of the... There you go. This is how do you set up your hotspot. Thanks for watching. This is Oscar Hotel One Echo.